Pacific Edge was formed in 2001 and it was triggered by uh, a well-known New Zealander having a, uh, his daughter die of a complication associated with cancer. And it was an overwhelming understanding that there had to be a better way to detect and manage cancers. One of the challenges in detecting and managing cancer is that the tools of today are invasive and they're expensive and they have poor accuracy. They rely on clinical symptoms and therefore are late stage. These tools that we set out to develop are fast, they're accurate, and uh, they have much higher utility. And ours are very unique because this is the first time we're starting to see multiple biomarkers brought together to give a positive clinical outcome for these, for these cancer diseases. The company is uh, in a really en enviable place right now. We've, we started with five cancers. We built a gene expression database for those cancers. We pulled out pro product prototypes uh, for four of those cancers. We've taken two of those product prototypes right through to the clinical trial stage where we've invested a large amount of money to show clinically that these uh, multiple biomarker tests do provide us with greater detection and greater management cap capability. But those two products are now ready for the market. The first of those, the bladder cancer test, has uh, moved into the marketplace and we're now offering that service out of a, a centralised service laboratory based in Dunedin for Australasia. The company's going to build a number of subsidiary companies in key markets, particularly Australasia, that's our home market. Uh, for bladder cancer, there's around 3,000 new incidences of bladder cancer per annum, and this translates to roughly to around 50 to 60,000 tests per annum, which in, in reality would, could be as much as a, a gross revenue of around $6 million a year to the company. So a small market, but it's our home market. On the other hand, the United States has around 15,000 urologists compared to the 300 in Australasia, and they spend an approximately a billion dollars investigating hematuria. And if we could save a small proportion of that, 10%, that's a large amount of money. Uh, and it is a very rich and lucrative market for our company. When you put a product like ours into the market, you need to build a CMS code or reimbursement code for it. And that's a professional job our product, our bladder cancer product, codes out at around uh, just under 800 US dollars. And that's a recognised code that you can take forward to reimburses and say this is what this, uh, this technology uh, should retail for. We're offering our technology as a, as a lab developed test through CLIA certified, that's C-L-I-A, or Clinical Laboratory Improvement Act certified laboratories. And as such, we don't need uh, FDA approval initially. Initially Pacific Edge didn't have anything in the way of competitors. The only technology we were competing with was yesterday's technology. But today we now have people coming up behind us quite quickly. And it's a matter of urgency for us to take a lead position in these key markets. In some instances it wouldn't be a bad thing to be second in the market. But at the moment we're first into the market and we want to stay that way.